Hello, I'm Dr. Beach, and today I want to talk a little bit about uh, beds and pillows uh, that I recommend for patients because this question does come up from time to time. In terms of pillows, uh, the best pillow to use in general is a cervical pillow. And a cervical pillow means it's a pillow that, that has a, a slight hump in it that allows to support the normal cervical curve. So if I were facing in this direction, my neck should have a curve in it that goes like that. Uh, it's a C-shaped curve. And that curve should be supported by the pillow. And tip, typically with pillows, we have a pillow that actually flattens the curve in the neck. And that actually can create some more stress on the neck. So in choosing a pillow, I recommend not choosing these expensive uh, memory foam Tempur-Pedic type of pillows. Now that may surprise uh, some people to hear me say that, but my experience is that those pillows are too soft. Um, although they do support the neck a little bit, after a while because they compress down so much, they don't really give enough support to the neck. Now, the, uh, they do feel good right from the beginning because they don't put any real stress on the neck in terms of supporting the curve because sometimes we, the, the neck is stiff. When we first start to use a cervical fill, pillow, it feels a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but because they, they, they compress down so much, I don't think that they're really sufficient in terms of giving enough support to the neck. So I have found that it's better to just buy uh, a regular foam pillow that has that cervical support in it. Um, and it's cheaper because the, those fancy uh, memory foam pillows are usually very expensive, sometimes over $100, where you can buy maybe for $20 or $30 a regular foam pillow that has cervical support in it. But what you'll find is that when you first start using that pillow, it may be a little uncomfortable for a little while. So I suggest maybe starting with it every night. And then if it's uncomfortable, just pitch it and use your old pillow and start every night like that until the pillow softens up a little bit plus your neck becomes accustomed to it. When you're sleeping on your side, then you want to put your face on that edge uh, so that you're not tilted to one side. And that's a fair, that's pretty easy to get used to, to doing that. Now the only time that I don't recommend a cervical pillow is if the person has um, a lot of numbness and tingling in the hands. Uh, and if it's been documented on x-ray that they have a uh, situation called a spur, which is a little bony projection coming out from the spine towards the back, towards the posterior part. I have this in my situation. And because of that, when my head goes back, this is from an old car accident that I've had, I have that spur projection toward the back. And so when my head tilts back like that on a cervical pillow, it actually pushes on the nerve and I start getting numbness and tingling. So in those cases, the cervical pillow will not be appropriate, but that's a fairly uncommon type of condition, but it can happen. Uh, for, for beds, one of the best beds I, I particularly like and recommend to patients is the sleep, sleep uh, comfort bed, the sleep number bed, uh, where you can adjust the, the mattress. Uh, it's an air mattress. Uh, that's a very good bed. Also, any very firm mattress tends to be better than the softer ones. Uh, again, I, I don't mean to pick on Tempur-Pedic, but I don't like Tempur-Pedic for mattresses. Um, they, because they basically just make a mold of your body and you sink in. Uh, I was given one of those mattresses by one of the uh, high-end uh, back stores, and I slept on it one night, and I felt like I was crawling out of a hole. Uh, in the morning. So I didn't find that to be a comfortable mattress. You need more support than that. So any really firm mattress, but the adjustable mattresses are, are very good for that. And then in sleeping positions, uh, try to sleep on your back or on your side, but avoid sleeping on the stomach. If you're sleeping on the stomach, then you're turning your head all night. And uh, that is very, very bad for the neck. It's a good way to uh, to create a neck problem and maybe even pinch a nerve in the neck. And then the other thing is about where do you put your arms when you're sleeping. You want to keep your arms down here somewhere, not up above your head, not sleeping like this or sleeping like that, because that can also compress the nerves coming out of the neck and create a lot of problems in the shoulder and in the arms. 
So if your habit has been to sleep on your stomach, then I suggest taking a pillow and kind of holding it against your chest like that. That feels very good and it keeps you from putting your arms up and it'll keep you from sleeping on your stomach. Uh, so if you have any questions uh, about pillows or sleeping positions or anything like that, then just uh, let me know and I'll talk to you next time.